A short while ago, I was lucky enough to interview Jeff Hawkins. Jeff is a British craftsman who makes the most beautiful cigar box guitars. Having made two guitars when he was in a band in the 1960s, he turned his hand to cigar box guitars when he retired. He's now made around 100 guitars in three years using some of the rarest and most exotic cigar boxes. I interviewed Jeff at his workshop and he played for me there So I've supported The Who, I've right. supported The Kinks, wow. uh, I've supported Van Morrison, that are about always support, 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 you know, that, that, it's a nice thing. I, the Who's one of my favourites. And um, Where, what, what's, What venues did you oh, play? Oh, no, I played with them three times and I can only remember the one. I, I think one, one was in Woodford somewhere, and I still don't know, but one of them was the... Was the um, the Watford Trade Unions Hall. It was quite a big hall. It's a big hall, and, and it is. If I found out you could, f somebody followed the Who right from the beginning. I know they did. Uh, uh, a couple of guys, they knew what was going on with the scene, the music scene, yeah. and picked the Who to follow. Yeah. And they followed them, so they've got it all documented. And there's a whole list of their gigs, and. The gig that we done with them, although we're not mentioned on there, yeah. I know when it was, and there it is, Watford Trade Union Hall, 1960, uh, 60, 60, 64, probably 63, 64, that's a long time ago, isn't it? <laughs> cotton pickers etc etc right wanted something to do when they had some spare time yeah they couldn't buy instruments couldn't afford to buy instruments yeah and that's how it came about right a box with a stick in it with one string right called a diddly bow and that's where Bo Diddley got I his name didn't from know that. okay you see Bo are. Diddley's bo oh. guitars yeah 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 absolutely originally started yes. off cigar box and then he, he got Gretsch the great guitar maker yeah to make one that shape. Right, right. <laughs> uh, but that's where he took his name from. This starts off as a piece of oak. Right. I get a guy, a local timber merchant, to cut me down oak and some of this mahogany sapili for fingerboard. So you see what I mean? I've got to get this into, that, into a box. Yeah. Depending on the depth of the box, I've also got to cut out a slot because of the depth of the pickup. Right. Which, well, I've got pickups in here. Not much stock now, but uh, um, But in this case, I've even had to take a piece off the back because the box is so slim. If you, if you said to me now, don't make anything else, just make me a guitar. Right. Start now. Uh -huh. It's 30 hours seem too much. No, not when I see the level no, of work. Um, it doesn't. But they are easy to play. Right. Because the way they're strung, bear in mind you don't have to push any fingers down. Right. You just have a... You have a you'll excuse a, a the left-handed pose again. Straight. You have a little slide, right, which could be made of any tube or glass, whatever. Right. And you just lay that on the strings, and then you slide it up and down the strings. Well, the strings are tuned to what they call is an open chord. Right. So anywhere you put that and you strum it, uh -huh. it is a proper chord. Right. So the art is to know what chords go with what to be a bit musical, yes. I suppose. Yeah. But for a beginner. <laughs> I'm on probably number 93 at the moment. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Over what sort of period Over is that? Over period about three years. Oh goodness me. Wow. Yeah, so yeah. you are. It's only been three years, yeah. <laughs> 